This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Spend less to heat and cool your home now through March 31st with the area's top full-service window service by saving $300 on every window and $800 on every door. You can even get a free upgrade to Smart Sun Glass without having to pay anything for two years. Take advantage of this deal and schedule yourself a free inspection by heading over to rbacentralpadeals.com. That's rbacentralpadeals.com or by calling 717-836-1080. St. Luke's University Health Network has been accused of charging some unvaccinated employees more for health insurance. Meanwhile, a man who stole the thumb of a statue during an ugly sweater party has accepted a plea deal. Airbnb hosts in Philly were alerted to subpoenas. Finally, the former home of a founding father will appear on Ghost Hunters. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. A federal class action lawsuit was filed against St. Luke's University Health Network last Thursday, reports Lehigh Valley Live. In it, the health network has been accused of charging some unvaccinated employees more for health insurance. St. Luke's raised premiums by $1,100 in January 2022, offering discounts the suit claims were not given to employees who received religious exemption from the vaccine. Those who received medical exemptions or deferrals, claims the suit, did receive the discount, along with those vaccinated. As such, the suit is suing St. Luke's for violating Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. On top of that, it's seeking to permanently enjoin the enforcement of the premium discount policy and get restitution for all affected employees, plus other financial compensation. St. Luke's, on their end, said via statement how the Federal Equal Employment Opportunity Commission had already looked over this issue and found no violations whatsoever. In 2017, an ugly sweater holiday party was thrown at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, reports Philly Voice. It was during this party that Delaware resident Michael Rohano walked into the museum's visiting terracotta warrior exhibit, despite it being closed off, took a selfie with one of the ancient Chinese sculptures, snapped off its 2,000-year-old thumb, and ferried it away in his pocket. It didn't take too long for people to notice the statue's thumb was missing, and Rohana eventually fessed up to an FBI agent before promptly returning the thumb. After a mistrial brought about by a deadlock jury and delays caused by COVID, and after the city had to formally apologize to China, Rohana, as of last week, accepted a plea deal to charges of interstate trafficking. These charges carry a maximum two-year stint in prison, as well as a $20,000 fine. He'll be sentenced April 17th. Airbnb hosts in Philadelphia were recently thrown into a slight panic, states the Philadelphia Inquirer. Many, along with hosts on other short-term rental sites, were notified by the company that the company had been subpoenaed by the city and that they had to provide specific records associated with their account. Philadelphia officials would like hosts to know that they shouldn't freak out, though. This is all just part of new regulations that require hosts get certain licenses for short-term rentals. See, municipal authorities can't see local addresses on such platforms since they're not publicly listed. Airbnb also won't turn over the data to the city, so the only way to get this information is through a formal request, like a subpoena. Once officials have addresses, they'll compare it with the permits they have to see who may be illegally renting. Hosts also have a week to let Airbnb know if they plan on challenging Philadelphia's legal demand. Ghost Hunters will once again feature a location in Pennsylvania, says PenLive, the George Taylor House. Built in Catasauqua in 1768, the two-story mansion was once home to namesake George Taylor, a Philadelphia resident and founding father whose signature graces the Declaration of Independence. It's Taylor's ghost that's said to haunt the mansion, along with his wife Anne and other apparitions, such as one that's supposedly just half a body. Ooh. The episode will premiere on the Travel Channel on Tuesday, May the 4th at 9 p.m. Happy April, everyone. You guys making out of April Fool's Day all right? <laughs> For even more news, drop by penlive.com. And please don't forget to rate this podcast on either Apple or Amazon, and to maybe even leave it an honest review, if you'd like. Thanks ahead of time, and as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll be back again tomorrow for another round of Today in PA. 
This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Spend less to heat and cool your home now through March 31st with the area's top full-service window service by saving $300 on every window and $800 on every door. You can even get a free upgrade to Smart Sun Glass without having to pay anything for two years. Take advantage of this deal and schedule yourself a free inspection by heading over to rbacentralpadeals.com. That's rbacentralpadeals.com or by calling 717-836-1080.